All right, Aquarius, here we go. April 2024. Wow. If you've been watching, you know, new energy this month. So for the monthlies, I'm doing a new reading, a different reading. One that I usually reserve for extendeds, but, you know, I thought we'd pull it here. A little pyramid reading, all right? Top row, how the energies attached to you feel about you. Middle, what they're thinking about you. And the bottom of the pyramid, a potential final outcome where I can pull up the three cards there without too much trouble. I will clarify whatever needs clarifying, and at the end, I'll pull some cards on what the universe wants to tell you. That said, it's a general reading. It may or may not resonate with you, but if the title brought you in here or you found Steve's Love Tarot, you're here for a reason. Reading is timeless. Whenever you find it, you're meant to find it. Shuffling the deck right now. Give me the soulmate cycle and the angle of Aquarius for April 2024, universe. Let's go. Bottom of the deck here. Is going to be the soulmate energies around you in April 2024. So we start with you. Let's go. Seven cups. Crossed by ten swords. Easy choices for you all month. Easy choices. No brainers, right? It's a no brainer option. When there's ten swords surrounding seven cups, it's, it's, it's a simple choice. There's options, there's lots of energies coming towards you, lots of new people, everybody wants your attention. It's real easy to tell who's who, all right? Lots of, don't overthink anything. Pay attention to what I said in the overview reading. You know, in the weekly readings, usually the Aquarius position is an all signs position. It seems to be you show up in the reading and it's for everybody. This is pretty much for everybody. There's not a lot of, don't, don't, there's not a lot of overthinking about things, okay? So let's go. How do the energies attached to you feel about you? Let's see. Page of Swords, Knight of Wands, Five of, five of Swords. Uh, you're blowing some minds here. There's no doubt about that. Let me get these on camera. Uh, in the base energy here, I've got the Knight of Wands. It's, it's, you're very, they feel, the end, there's an, well, I, I can't even say this is one energy. There's multiple energies here. Not seven, but multiple, right? You're very approachable. You're very approachable. Um, but there's an element here of people who are attached to you emotionally in a bad place, okay? So you have energies attached to you where it ties to that energy I talked about with you where you're the oracle on the hill. All of a sudden, everybody coming to you, they want your advice, they think you can help them, that kind of thing. These are distressed energies that are attached to you. And they just impulsively talk to you. Their emotions, though, are distressed. Let's find out. Let's pull on the five of, five of Swords here. Tell me about the Five of Swords. That's my key card here in the emotions section. I was going to talk to the witches here. Tell me about the Five of Swords, because the Page of Swords will come with it. They're distressed. What's going on? Why is the Five of Swords here? Why are these energies, and there's multiple energies here, why are these energies attached to my viewers in this Aquarius angle distressed? What's going on? You got a pet crow. They're cute. You know, all right. Here we go. They make good pets. They're, they're, they're flock animals. Any kind of a flock animal makes good pet. You become part of its flock, right? Like a dog, they're pack animals, right? That's why parrots make good pets. They're, they're, um, flock animals. They fly in flocks and groups. They live in communities. Why is the uh, Five of Swords here? What's with the distress? The Nine of Wands. They're, the energies are in distress. The energies are blocked on something. There's, there's a block to their happiness. They're unhappy. Okay? Unhappy with how life is going. Unhappy with how their life is turning out. Things aren't going right. And for some reason, you look like you might be fun to talk to. Okay? It's just what's coming up. That's how they feel anyway. That's the emotion. What's on top? Three of Cups. Very emotional. Overly emotional. Three is the flow of uh, three of cups is the flow of water in this particular case, the flow of emotion. This is what happens. You know, they're overly April can do this to some people. These are lower vibrational energies than you. These are energies where it's all too much. It's all overwhelming. And the emotions run away with themselves and there's nothing containing the water here. It's just flowing. Why is the Three of Cups here? The King of Wands. Mm. Feeling emotion. It's weird. That's why I paused for a moment. Feeling the emotions with the ego instead of the soul. 
Okay, and that's why the Knight of Wands is here. Now I got to pull on the Knight of Wands. So why is the Knight of Wands here? Okay, why? Well, that's it's just I don't know. It's very strange. Feeling the emotions with their ego, and that can cause a lot of problems. That that can get that can cause you to look at the world differently, feel the world differently. Okay, what's going on with the Knight of Wands? Of course, Aquarius is going to have the tricky reading. You got the tricky reading in this fly through. Mm-hmm. Okay. They don't know what to do. And they think you have the answers. The Seven of Cups. And the Seven of Cups is the soulmate energies around you. You got the answer. They want energies that I get it. Energies that feel like they just want somebody that they want somebody to follow. They want somebody to just tell them what to do. Right? That's that's it. I don't I don't think that's the best route. I think it's best if we feel and think for ourselves. But either way, okay. What's on top? Queen of Swords. Uh, why is the Queen of Swords here? Before I open my mouth, the Ace of Swords. I, it's the same thing. She holds the Ace of Swords. Yeah, they're looking for they're looking for clarity. They're coming to you for clarity. They feel like you could provide it. You're a shelter in the storm. You're someone who could just just tell me what to do. Okay, just tell me what choice to make. Okay, and it's and the problem is, I'll tell you in advance, they're feeling emotions with their ego. They're getting this soul and their ego mixed up. These energies that are attached to you. Okay, so what are they thinking about you? Ace of Cups. What else? Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords. Yeah, like I said, you. They're coming to you for clarity and truth. They think you've got the truth. They see you as some kind of oracle on the hill. It's that reading that's been coming up in the weekly readings. They do. I'm interested in the Ace of Cups here, though. Okay? Some of these energies, I will tell you, are in love with you. Okay? Me? No, not, not all of them, but some of them. All right? But the, for the rest, they feel like you can unlock this and get their emotions straightened out and flowing. Okay? They feel stuck emotionally. Mm, it happens all the time. Your energy is just very approachable in April. Enjoy it, right? Enjoy it. If you can provide clarity to somebody, you help the universe balance energy, that's a good thing for you. Why is the Ace of Cups here? Tell me about it. Tell me about it. Yeah. They think you can get the cup flowing. It's crossed by the death card, right? You're like the jumper cables, right? Somebody asks you for a jump start. You're the jump start, if you will. Okay. What's on top? The hangman. They're stuck. What did I say? This uh, rewind. They're stuck. They need perspective, and you got it. That's and they think you have it. They feel you have it, and they think you have it. Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords. Wow. Why is the hangman here? The Knight of Swords. They think they're stuck, and they think you provide to, to get them unstuck. You provide the message of change. You've got something that's going to change things for them. Okay, that's plain and simple. So what's the potential final outcome here? Probably for you because it's red with these and you're the queen of swords here. You're the guru. The Hierophant. That's the final outcome for you. You're the guru. Welcome to the guru. You know, I mean, the, uh, genuine guru. Teaching people a better way. Showing them. They think you can and they feel you can. Mm, this is your month. This is why that's been coming up in the weekly readings. Turns out it's primarily the strongest in the month of April. Well, I can pull two more cards here. I will. But Six of Swords. You're the guru who helps smooth things out. Queen of Cups. You're the guru who helps get the emotions and intuition flowing. And this is the Oracle on the Hill card. It's right there. You're the fucking guru. End of day. End of story. I mean, that's what's been coming up in the weekly readings. That's what's here. So what advice does the universe have for you? I don't know. Let's find out. Let's do it with the light seer here. What do you want to tell my viewers? What advice do you have for my viewers? Give me three cards and a crossing card from the bottom. Plain and simple. You saw with your own eyes the repeat messages throughout. It's extremely important. Look at this final outcome. The card of the guru and the card of the oracle on the hill. And this is making the boo-boos all better. I mean, it's, it's clear as day. So there is communication, I'm sure. From people you might not even know. You just look like somebody who has the answers. You look like it. You feel like it. Okay. Fine. But the problem is, the problem I see is right here. 
And these are people that are just looking for somebody to follow, looking for somebody to give them the answer, as the Seven of Cups said, crossing that, right? They're just making wrong choices because they're, they're acting out of ego and not out of the soul, not from the soul. Their soul and ego are out of balance. You, on the other hand, are quite balanced between soul and ego. Between Queen of Swords and Queen of Cups? Psh, very nice. So what's the universe want to tell you? Three cards from the bottom and a crossing card. There you are. Again, the Oracle on the Hill. Another energy of it. The Queen of Pentacles. Um, I'll keep going. Queen of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles, 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 crossed by uh, the base energy of the Seven of Pentacles is crossed by the Page of Cups. <sighs> keep your answer. I'm just going to paraphrase it, okay? Keep your answer. If, if you're talking to these people, if people are coming to you like you're the Oracle on the Hill, the fucking guru, keep your answer simple. Take a lesson from me and what I do here, what I wrote about. This is part of what I wrote about in my April write-up in the blog at sltblog.com. Okay. This is part of what I wrote about. I said people overcomplicate things. Okay, they 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 use they they're given readings and they use big words that, that they don't even understand. You can tell because they spell the words wrong in their damn fucking title and shit. You know, people feel the need. I read a horoscope half the fucking time. I read the horoscope. Even I have to look up a couple of the words. Well, what the fuck does that word mean? That kind of, there's no need to puff yourself up to, to prove that you're the guru or the oracle on the hill. They already feel that and know that. So try to steve it up, if you will. I try to home spin things. I keep it simple. I don't use a lot of big words. I mentioned a reading I watched in the uh, in the uh, write-up. This one girl, she got one of the words she was using that she got wrong. She meant to say um, uh, psychosomatic, right? She meant to say psychosomatic. She kept saying psycho psychosomatic. It's, that's not that's a that, that's an insane Jewish person. That's not the same thing as psychosomatic. Okay, they're completely different. They're completely different. Uh, it's it's. Ah, if you're smart, you're smart. Okay? It's plain and simple. You could use little words and still be smart. At the end of the day, that's the advice here. Keep it simple, stupid. Right? It's an old sales thing, an old sales slogan. K-I-S-S. -S, kiss. Keep it simple, stupid. And that's it. That's what we got here. They already know you're the oracle on the hill. And you can provide a beginning foundation. Pretend, no matter who comes at you, that you're talking to children. Always pretend that. Advertisers do. Most advertisements are geared for a sixth grade level, right? Sixth grade level. What is that? 11, 12 year olds? Something like that? Yeah. Most of them are geared on that level for a reason. All right. There you go. That's it. That's all you got to do. That's your reading. I hope it's good advice here. I know I'm speaking as someone who's given people a lot of advice over the decades. All right. I do not try to make myself, puff myself up into some word thesaurus dictionary kind of thing with weird crazy shit. I give you simple car analogies and things like that. Things everybody can relate to. Movies, songs, stuff like that. Just remember that. Take, take a lesson from it because it's your strength. It's probably part of why they feel you're the oracle on the hill. Okay? That's all. And uh, this is the problem here with most of these energies approaching you. So keep that in mind. You need to get them to shut their ego down and get them to feel more balance between ego and soul. That's all. That's your reading. It's been coming up in the weekly readings. It showed up here. There you go. That's your reading. I hope it was helpful. All right. I do my best. All right. Good luck.